Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick get ready with me using some new products. I was trying something different, so I'm doing a talk over. Let's see if this video actually works out. If you're new to my channel, my name's Linnea. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. I hope you'll subscribe, stick around for a while, and let's just not waste any more time and get into the video. We're starting with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I really love this primer. It uh, worked beautifully on my skin, and I just take a small amount, and wait, I don't take a small amount. I take way too much, and then I have to put some back. You're going to see that face. Oh, yeah, too much. You do not need a lot of this. You just need a very small amount. If you get too much, it just doesn't blend in. I love the way it felt, and I love the way it smelled, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and take that uh, primer and I'm going to rub that in my hands to melt it and I'm going to push it into my skin. It went on beautifully. It wore beautifully. I really was impressed with it and I've used it a ton since then. Now I'm going to use the Cover FX Power Play Foundation in N30. I'm just going to dot that on my face and go ahead and... Uh, Blend that out. Just putting a bunch of dots all over the place. It is a really nice foundation. It covers well. It covers my redness very well. Lasts all day long. Um, I'm very pleased with the foundation. It's so easy to use. And I'm going to blend it in right now using a brush. Brush. I've also used the Beauty Blender. I prefer a brush with that. Now I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer. I'm going to put that under my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, above my upper lip, and on my chin. And I don't know why we went out of focus there, but we'll come back. Just give me a second there. I must have moved too far away from the camera. And we should be back in a second. Sorry about that. There we go. I'm going to blend all of that out using my trusty beauty blender. And I'm starting to blend it out now. And through the power of editing, that's going to be done in two seconds. And we're done. There we go. Charlotte Tilbury powder, um, setting powder. I'm going to use that under my eyes using an e.l.f. brush to set that in. I have such a hard time opening that palette, and I've gouged it several times with my nail. Just trying to get that compact open is really tough. I don't know why, but I really like that powder. I pulled it out again. I hadn't been using it for a while, and I've been using it again, and I really like it. It does a great job. Does helps not crease anything underneath the eye. And with editing, that should be done in like two seconds. Eyebrows. Charlotte Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate. I use that all the time. That's my only brow product that I like to use. I have multiple, only use that. Now we're going to go into the Smashbox and Vlada palette. I really like this little palette. It's called the Cover Shot Petal Metal Eyeshadow Palette. Why I started this and didn't show you that I'm starting with Nude Rose, I showed you the pretty package, but I didn't show you Nude Rose. That's the first color I'm going to use um, all over my eye. Just kind of like high up in the crease. That's going to be my transition color. Didn't like something that was on my eye. Just going to blend that up and blend, blend, blend. We should be switching over to the other eye in a second. I really like this palette. It's a very nice palette. It blended smoothly. It lasted all day. This chalk coffee blossom, that was, I was just showing you how powdery it was. Powdery, but still effective. It still worked beautifully. No issues at all. Um, the only issue I had, you'll see with this coffee blossom, I must not have seen it while I was doing my eyes, but it did leave a patchy mark, and it drives me crazy editing the video because I can see that patchiness. But there you go. I'm going to plop that right on the eye. I don't know if it was the way the light was that I didn't see it, but I can see it in the video. Then I'm going to use some nude rose under my eye. And I'm going to start with opal rose on my lid, and then I swap out and go to rose quartz. And I'm using my finger just to get a higher intensity of the color. And I just pack that on my lid. And see, there's where I'm going to go to the rose quartz, that color right there. I really like that color. 
It looked really pretty on my eyes. But do you see how it looks patchy in the very corner crease? That, that's driving me crazy. And I don't know. I didn't see that or, or it didn't look like that in person. It just came across on camera. Now I'm going to use Opal Rose. And I'm going to use that in my, I do use it on my inner corner. And I'm going to use it um, as a brow bone. I don't know if I put that in or not. Oh, yep, there we go. Brow bone is going to be rose, opal rose. I got the entire look just based out of this palette, which really made me happy. And onto mascara, of course, Sephora Lash Craft. I love it. Big volume. Get it, get it, get it. That's the Kevin Aquan contouring powder. Um, I used that to contour. And then I used my natural face, the Too Faced Natural Face palette. And I used that middle shade. I don't think that that has a name on it either. I'm just going to blend that out. Let's see. Oh, it does have a shade. It's called Pink Sand. I'm going to blend that out, and then I'm going to end up going into the Natasha Denona and the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette in Daria, and I'm using Glow. I'm just going to blend that out. I love that palette. It really is a beautiful highlighting blush palette. I really like it a lot. Highlighting all the usual places. Nice hairdo there, stuck out all over the place. And I'm going on to the Girl On Meteorites in Claire 02 with a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to buff that in just to give my skin an all over radiance. I absolutely love the Meteorites. They smell amazing and it just really, it looks beautiful on the skin. Piece of cake. I'm very happy with myself. Now, on to some Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to line my lips, and then I'm going to use a Lancome Lip Lover in 314. I really like that color. I haven't used it in a long time and saw it in my drawer, so I grabbed it. And then I'm going to do some finishing spray with the Scandinavia finishing spray. Absolutely love it. Stuff goes on beautifully. Helps the makeup last all day long. There's the final look. And I am so happy with my little self. Go, go, get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it, girl. Good job. Yep, so happy. So this is the completed look. I really enjoyed doing this video. It's something different. I'm going to keep trying new things on my channel. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And until next time, have a great rest of your week. Bye!